It's that time of year again. My bank account's empty, but my bed is now covered in official Pokemon brand Poke merch. Sitting cuties. Whoa, look out, they sit, they fit. Actually, that's their Japanese name, Pokemon Fit, as you'll see on their mini tags. Fit D's nut. Well, I know these vids are really long, so here we go. Turtwig! I accidentally got two of these. We're off to a great start. And I'm gonna go with this one because it's looking down and to the right. At least that's what it looks like in person. Still very cute for a turtle made of dirt. And I love its little chubby cheeks. Oh, and its twig leaves! They are very forward. Grottle is so fuzzy. Oh wow. Love the ferns, but did you get a perm, Grottle? Worst of all though, I don't like that they consider this a sit. Torterra, love the little tree. I'm really excited to see how the plush makers deal with how much more detailed the Pokemon designs have become by Gen 4. I mean, look here, it's a whole treescape on a turtle. I only wish the tree was more rigid on its back. I don't like floppy wood. Jimjar, its face is flat. And it's one silly ear adds to how stupid this monkey looks. Also, the tail fire is kind of trash compared to the fire on the other plushes we've seen. Here it looks like a chicken doodle. Monferno. This is a really bog standard monkey plush. Nothing fancy about it. I'm glad they didn't give it individual fingers like a lot of monkey plushes do. Infernape. Its tail makes it a little awkward to sit, but you can do it with enough time. Good Greebling, its white body is actually like clothing, similar to Sun Wukong's outfit. And again, thank God they didn't make individual fingers. It gets minus points for its feet hands though. Those are very flat. It dropped a bowling ball on them. <gasps> Piplop, gasp, it's so cute. It's going on my desk right now. Q7. What? What is OMQ? Oh, that's the Piplup landing on my keyboard as I threw it on my desk. I love its little coattails. Prinplup. Eh, it won't be on my desk, but it's not the worst. Not a fan of the flipper stitching. I also don't like its weird tail stitching. It's like a weird butthole in a cartoon intended for teens. Empoleon got a rounded booty. So it's like a pop-up clown toy. Its collar is also rather weird and almost stitched with extra fabric it didn't need. I like how floppy its arms are though. Starly, now that's a nice borb, a bird orb. It's so spherical. I would like to see a version of every Poke bird, but in borb shape. Please, thank you, Pokemon Company. You know my address. Staravia, oh, it got bigger and not more orbular. I do enjoy the tail flappiness. It's so angry. Look at its little downwards pointing beak. <laughs> Staraptor, oh wow, the beak pointing up is actually hilarious, and the hair spike tube, it's not even close. Oh, but maybe it is from the side. Mm, nope. This bird is hilarious, and its forehead is fat. The tail feathers, though, do stand up, which is a thing, I guess. Bit doof. I love that the eyes aren't perfectly even and the nose is actually off center. It just makes it look that much more of a doof. I get that the, I get that none of that's intentional. This is probably a manufacturing error, but like, it works. Also, the beard balls are really firm and make it look like a neck beard. But it feels like a hamster in the hand. This is the pose the barrel is supposed to have, game freak. The eye mask has no fluff, so it's really easy to make look saggy, and oh boy is it thick. Look at how wide this thing is, and that tail, oh lordy. It's firm. A spank paddle, but a Pokemon. Cricketot, oh my god, it's so soft and round. The little nose, it's so cute. The little collar, it's so perfect in plush form. That's a tan. Unfortunately, compared to Cricketot, Cricketoon just isn't up to snuff. Don't get me wrong, it's a good plush. It has printed fabric to keep it smooth, and the thin parts are well made. I just want to pinch its mustache. Oh, it's so soft and empty, just like my mustache. Aw, oh, Shinx, well aren't you adorable. Big ol' ears, little fluffy tail. Yeah, that's a Pokemon designed to be a plush, so here's a plush of it. I do like the squish the ears have, though. It's so poofy. Luxio. Huh. Mine leans kind of forward like it's trying to intimidate you. Fitting, since they can have the intimidate ability. Uh, but again, nothing fancy about it. Overall, that's a good plush. Maybe a tad firm for my liking. Luxray. Okay, okay, firm again. And the face is a little funny looking. Kind of tilted, isn't it? The tail star is very large and looks barely attached. But I like the little printed detail on it as if the black color was holding on to the rest. 
but do! So I know it's hard to mess up a ball, but wow. Uh, first off, the bib is sort of just glued on, not a fan. And even like, just this as a whole, they somehow managed to ruin Badoo. Like, I get that the point of these plushies is that they should have, you know, somewhat chibiized proportions, so a bigger head, bigger face. But when the Mon is just a head with some details above it, and they make the head bigger without making the rest of it, it just looks wrong. I, I just don't get who approved this. Though it is fun to throw. Roserade, the elbow Pokemon. You guys see it, right? <laughs> that pose looks so forced. And the mask, it's just a floppy piece of felt cut into a half pea pod shape. Though the rose's embroidering is very nice, even if they look like lumpy balls. And the cape is nice and soft and flappy until you cut yourself on the edge, like me. Ow. Love the rose hair. Oh well, jeez, Cranidos. What are we gonna do today? The same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. What is this the heck? Cranidos has no jowls. It looks like this, not like this. What the heck? At least Rampardos definitely looks a lot better. It looks like it's trying to touch its toes, but its knee spikes are in the way, so all it can do is hold those. Or like a kid holding their knees during a soccer match on the bench. Yeah, Rampardos looks like a bench warmer, I said it. It's even got the little helmet looking dome. Shield on! Oh, it's so cute. The little toenails are perfect. And its head is so properly firm. If you squish it from the front, the neck bends first. I love this little guy. Bastiodon. You know, sometimes I am a less is more kind of guy with Pokemon, and this guy is not a less is more Pokemon. But I gotta say, I love the expression they captured on its face. It's like a dog with breathing problems questioning the cruelties of the world. Also, surprisingly, only the back fin is sharp. Oh, and the little boot cuffs. And if you bend all of its teeth down, it's hilarious. Burmy! Oh, it's a three-for-one special! Act now and you can get all three garbage bugs for the price of three garbage bugs! Actually, that's not fair. Only one of them is garbage. It's the pink one. Trash form. Which, funnily enough, is the one I forgot to order, so I actually had to wait for trash to arrive in the mail, just by itself. The USPS actually shipped garbage to me. I know they do that constantly with junk mail, but still. This time I ordered it! Anyway, they have their own problems, like they can't sit, none of them, not a one. But when you don't have a butt, it is hard to sit. I've tried. The rock one is very fuzzy, which is fun enough until the sharp hexagons cut you in half. And the grass type one, well, the leaves are nice, but those tiny sticks, oh man! Trash farm! I hate this feeling, it's trash. Wormadam is also not able to sit. Classic Pokemon sitting cuties, they just couldn't stick to the plan. However, I will say that they are way fluffy and super soft compared to the Prevo, and the rock one is almost a top. Like if you just added a hard point at the bottom, boom, it's a super spinner. Oddly enough, the grass and trash forms have beans in the bottom, but the rock type one has its beans in the middle, making it perhaps a tad heavier? Or maybe that's a mistake. Wouldn't you know it, not sitting is a theme with this line. Here's Mothim. But at least the wings are nice and floppy. But they look grossly bulbous on the ends. This is one of those bugs that looks like it should not be able to fly, but does anyway because it doesn't understand aerodynamics. Well, it must just be a Gen 4 bug bug because Combi isn't sitting either. But oh, is it cute. Not very hexagonal though. Hexagonal? Hexagonal. Yeah, same number of syllables as there are sides. No, that's also wrong. Well, they have an excuse. It's really hard to get ridges right in plush form, I would know. And here it looks more like a pile of barrels. And look, mine's antenna is starting to fray already. Sad. Vespiquen? More like Vespa stand. This one's a standing cutie. But either way, it's really fun to wiggle its waist. But it does hurt my poor fingers when the sharp claws hit them. Pachuritsu! Ah, oh, it's so cute. But the fat tail does make it annoying to make sit. Though I do appreciate that its tail is soft, but firm, and not entirely one piece, it's just sort of pin-stitched together. 7 out of 10 boopable nose dot! Actually, it might be worth mentioning now, I think? For this set of sitting cuties, they changed the main fabric that the plushies in general use. They all feel just a bit softer to the touch than the previous gens. It's pretty nice. Bleasel! Oh, it's frowning. Also, its hands are stitched in place. No hugs from this mon. I do enjoy how fluffy the donut feels and how small it looks in comparison to its head. But the tails are a little lackluster, being that they're so prominent in its design, but here they are, just kinda plopped on the back. Snoot! 
And then Floatzel has the same tail issue, but now it's actually two tails and not just a weird Y shape. But its hands look like the suit of clubs from cards. Like, I think I know why they call them puppy dog feet, and by them I mean old ladies that I played cards with, that's it. Oh, it's number 420, Cherubi, haha, <laughs> funny number, oh boy. It's got beans in its face, so it can't sit. Yeah. And its little head is stitched on, so I can't shake it around. Sad. But the leaves are super airy, like they don't feel like they are full of anything. Yet, at the same time, they have a resistance to squishing. It's hard to describe, it must be the material it's made out of. Kinda reminds me of, like, memory foam? But I doubt that it is. Sad news. There isn't anything up Cherim's skirt. So we don't get to know what secrets are under there. But it is very soft and fun to hug. Sunny Day form has nothing to hide though. Especially the fact that it sucks to make sit upright. All the petals are individually fun to touch, and the red balls are also very firm. Can confirm. Shellos, I love how cute these ones are, like the little feet nubbins! Adorable! The blue one is able to sit slash stand way better than the pink though. I think it has to do with the weight of the wings compared to the headwear that they have that's different between them. But you can get both to stay up with enough attempts. Pink's hair looks like it would hold an egg really well, like an egg cup, and their little spikes are adorbs. I love nudie branches. Hence why I also love Gastrodon, but I wish they would have made them actually sit. Oh well, the limitations of its body design, I guess. It is a slug. I do like how perfectly potato-sized these particular plushes are. I feel like I could just peel them slowly and toss them into a pot. Overall, good plushes of a mon that doesn't really have much merch. P.S. Rubbing the green one feels nice. Ambipom. Drifloon! Oh, little ball with a sheep for a forehead. I love the use of cord for the strings. They could have just used the annoying felt heat treated stuff and like it would have worked, but it would have sucked. So I'm super glad they got some rope stuff. It really helps it out. I mean, it didn't really need any help because it's just so cute, but I feel like they should have put the tag up top so that you could hang the thing because it's a ghost that needs to float if it doesn't sit. And since it can't hang, it just sort of exists there, menacingly. Ooh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm not a fan, so I won't be able to blow this balloon away. But um, sound effect. But really though, it's too ball shaped. It's supposed to be a hot air balloon, which have such specific shapes. A shape which this is not. But the arms are nice, and I like the little hair tuff, even if it's supposed to be a cloud and here it is mega firm. And overall, I feel like this plush isn't firm enough. I've always envisioned Drift Blim as being very firm compared to Drift Bloom because it's bigger and a hot air balloon instead of a party balloon. ba 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 near re Oh, it's cute! It's doing that ear thing that it does. And it's little feet! And it's tail! It's so endearing. It's like it's a little bunny. But I'm not a huge fan of the material they used for the ear tufts. It feels like... gross. Frictiony? Sticky almost? Maybe that's a me problem. Law Pony looks so angry, and mine's chin is a little long, so it looks like Rolf. You dare to mock the son of a bun, Ed Boy! Also, it's really hard to get it to sit up on this turntable because it's just so lop sided. Get it? Also, haha, funny lewd if you put it on its face. Ms. Magius. Hmm. Very squanch. Is that a description? Well, it is now. It's also very rounded. Isn't Ms. Magius like. Flowy? I think an oval would work better. But it also has the two layers of skin, so the top is all loose like one of those dogs. Sharpe puppies come to mind. So floopy. It sits surprisingly well despite this though, thanks to its added rounditude beanie booty. Worthy sacrifices, I suppose. Haunch Crow has a fluffy beard and it's perfect. It actually looks like a beard instead of a big old belly with a bib on it. And the mace tail is so apparent here. Oh wait, that's supposed to be a broom and a puffy collar. Hmm. Glam Meow, another little kitty. I love the head shape and the whiskers are a little thick, but I don't want them to break and it looks strange without them, so it's all good. The tail is great and springy, but I wish it wasn't stitched to the body. That way I could sproing it more. Also, I got two of these accidentally, and one of them has their head turned slightly to the side. Peak aesthetic IMO. I wonder if they intended for there to be slight differences like this in all of the plushies. Probably not, but either way, this is a good A-plus cat. No. 
Chingling! Oh yeah, that's a little baby right there. It's perfect. The only thing that could make this better is if they actually put a little bell in it. It's possible, I have a Korok plush that does that. It's so firm and the little tassels are well made with the amount of thickness, I could just hug it. Okay, fine, I'll say something about Perugly. It's ugly. I mean, it's not even sitting right. Would you call this a sit? And it's got hands for ear tips. Like, those look like Monferno feet, just in purple. Stunky. Wow, very soft. Uh, but again, sitting might be a difficulty. That huge tail gets in the way, but oh boy, does it look pretty good. I love how butt-shaped the face is. It's the perfect tootmobile. I kind of want to put a fart button in it, like Build-A-Bear style, so it farts when you hug it. Or when you pinch its very pinchable cheeks. Overall, though, it seems way too the heck wide. Like the badonk. Too much cake in its face. I mean, look at this. It is significantly larger than Skuntank. I know they are called Pokemon Fit, so they gotta, like, all fit in some place. But, like, but like, you could have made Skuntank just a bit bigger. Or, heck, the easier option would be to just make Stunky a little smaller. At least have some consistency with their evolutions. Gosh! Uh, either way, though, I wish the tail hair floosh was softer and wasn't actually just a solid part of its body. Could have been a separate part and then just stitched to the top of the body so that you could put your hand between them. But, like, it's still there. You know, when it's like this, it just looks like a Spinosaurus with that huge sail on its back. But a skunk. Also, the beans in mine are on the back left of it, so this is the butt. But they did get its face right, I suppose. Bronzor! How am I even going to get this to sit? Like, it's just a disc with a nose. It's got really cool back patterning, though. But here's a question. Is this the bottom? Or is this its bottom? Type your answers below now, because the answer is that this is the bottom. This has the beans. Also, this is probably the world's worst frisbee. Bronzong actually makes my last sentence untrue. It's the world's worst frisbee. It's good and stiff and feels more solid because of all the stitching and embroidery all over it. It's not good for stroking, but great for a shelf. And if we upskirt it, we can see its secrets. It's not hollow. Bronzong! Doodly bobs are fun to shake? Check. Little donut body? Check. Does it have a butthole? Yep, yeah, okay, check. We're good. This is a good plush. Mime Jr.'s head looks even more like ice cream and the poop emoji. Isn't it crazy that the best frozen food is the same shape of doo-doo? And gosh dang it, Mime Jr., sit still. You should be good at that. It's so hard to make sit properly. But also, if you push its nose in, it looks like this. Egg. Look out, it's an egg. Egg. Well, it's kind of thick, like front thick. Is that a thing? Like when your gut reaches your knees thick. But hey, it for sure sits. And look, it looks even stranger when it's next to its evos. Uh-oh, here comes Chatot. What is it going to say? Go to noggin.net and buy my merch. Simple, honest, perfect, wonderful. And most of all, handsome. And it sits. Spiritum is so front heavy. Like if it was a dog, it wouldn't be able to walk downstairs. It would just fall. I know it's supposed to be a ghost, so light and airy, but in plush form, it just looks like a dumb starfish on a barnacle with an unhappy face. The whole thing only has two good points going for it. One of them is that the green embroidery on its face is a super cool reflective string, so it looks all spectral. And the other good thing is... Meat spin. Gibble! Booty on the floor! It's that that I adore! pretty soft for how round it is. Normally they make these round ones super stiff in order to maintain that shape. Also, if you lift its eyebrow jets, it's mild shock. Oh. Overall, it's pretty cute for a starfish, but I do wish they would make the teeth not be sticking so far out. Okay, so it wasn't just me. Did Gibble seem really light? Because this is the color I remember Gibble being. Hmm. Yeah, well, Gabite is an overall okay plush. Here it sits, and it's cute. As cute as a Gabite can be, but most importantly, it has jazz hands. Garchomp is older in age, so its jazz hands have mellowed out. And it's got the expression of a father who just wants to watch TV, but has to go to a baby shower of someone it knows, but doesn't really care about, like, like, a friend of a friend, or like, his wife's co-worker. It's not just the eye expression, it's also the slight hunch, and the drooping nose, and the overall body language just screams, ugh. So basically, it's perfect. That's exactly how I've always imagined Garchomp. Why is its back fin literally a tube? Munchlax is pretty hot, try again. And here it is as a plush, though it looks like we caught it in the middle of wiggling its toes. 
Riolu! All right, I'm going to bring this up now. If you haven't noticed, there have been a lot of misprints. Not necessarily wrongly made plushes, like missing eyes or such, but like a lot of them seem to lean or be bent in some way out of shape not intended. With Riolu, it's leaning heavily to one side, and could that have something to do with all of these plushies being softer feeling than the last gens also? Did they use a different sweatshop this time? Well, that aside, Riolu has really thick arms, which for a baby, is normal, right? But my favorite part is that the ears are super squishy. Not empty, like a lot of them. It's Lucario. Like father, like son, it's also leaning. Weird. And its right foot has a misplaced toe line stitch. Rip. As in actually rip. I. Want. To. Rip. It. And much to a furry's pleasure, they had to make the butt of this thing huge to make it sit right. So it's got cake. And a little Woody. As in from Toy Story 2, like how, how Woody's arm started to come off. It's the same deal, mine's right arm is a little loose and I can see the stitching almost coming out already. Nose! It's huge! I mean, look at that honker! The patterning on its back is nice, and I wonder if they're the same on all of them. Let me know in the comments below if your hippopotas has the same pattern or if it's placed differently. Also, if they put beans in the butt, it might actually sit, but instead right now it's just sort of standing there. It's a standing cutie. Mouth could be better. Hippowdon! See, this one sits. Look at that. And we can tell that it's male because you can see the ball, I mean, the coloration. This dude bro is top tier. The legs are fun textured with good sharp toenails. And I love the texture difference on the back shell thing. And it's fun to mess with its eyes. It's fun to mess with most things eyes. They just typically don't like it. But, but overall, it's a great fun toy to play with. Great personality. Scorupi! <gasps> Its arms are just huge, pierced ears. And its eyes are so thin, just felt oculars. This plush also seems to be a very fun plush toy to play with. Like, it's not sitting, so it can be an action plushie, like an action figure. And the tail's texture variation, oh, the stimulation. Same goes for Drapion, but its arms and body. Also, you can easily make it punch stuff. Yeah, bam, pop, boom. The neck looks weird though. I mean, it's bumpy, but not like it's stretched really far. Also, good smoky eyeshadow. Hmm, yes, I know makeup. Krogunk's chubby cheeks. I just want to pinch them into oblivion. Can I do that? Hmm, actually, this isn't that fun. Too stiff. Well, it sits, and it's pretty cute. I do like the banding and the pattern fabric choices, but I wish the back lined up better. Toxicroak, okay. So this is an example of bad colored fabric. It's got a whole lot of the white showing through because this cloth started off white and then they dyed it to match the stupid diaper butt looking nerd. Actually, why did they make its bottom look like a full diaper? Also, this guy too has a weird backstitch error. It's kinda sewn lumpy. This whole Pokemon is unfortunate. Carnivine, a cutie, but it can't sit literally ever unless upside down counts. So minus 50 points Hufflepuff. We all know that Carnivine is a Hufflepuff. I mean, look at that face. I do enjoy the teeth being sharp, but I hate the tail vines being sharp. Also, they are extremely stiff, like cardboard, paper cuts. Finneon, huh, fun. Uh, but other than that, it's just a decent fish plush. I love how puffy its tail is. Love this one too, and I do like that it looks like it's sitting because it's got those little feet fins. And its little determined face is pretty cute. It is determined to make you remember it. <gasps> Another baby! This is why this Pokemon exists. It has no reason whatsoever to exist other than to sell cute plushies. I just love the cute little back smiley, and if it wasn't fabric, I'd throw it into a bathtub. Oh, what the heck. Snover. Huh, it's cute, but it's hair? Looks really big, like the height and how thick it is all around, its circumference, and, and it almost looks like a hat instead of a pointed treetop. But I do enjoy how spiky the hands are, like a real pine tree. Obama Snow's eyes seem so tiny, but also it's fun to move around like this. Oh, it's a cyclops. Now it's sad. I also like the back. The little tree bits have tree shapes embroidered on. Plus, the seemingly sharp bits aren't that sharp. It'd be pristine if it wasn't so mean. Weavile. A little top heavy. Love that the hands are soft and not mega sharp, even though that's the entire point of this Pokemon's existence. It has super sharp claws. Hmm. Could have had better stitching on the claws. It's a bit too apparent. 
But I do like the head flap. It has like paper or cardboard or maybe just really, really stiff fabric on the inside of it. So it stays upright and stiff, but gives way for hugging. Magnazone is good, but aren't the magnet things supposed to be colored on the tips? Apparently they glow that color only when it's attacking? or something. I also don't like how orbular the screw heads are, but I do enjoy the eyeballs and the little pillow ring around it. Oh, and it's filled with tons of beans! This thing's hefty, and if you shake it, you might be able to generate static. Licky licky. Huh. Well, I still hate it, but it does sit. And lick. Look at it go. It licks so many things. Wait, no, don't lick that. No. Stop. Please. Please stop. No! Right, Piriow! My hands hurt just looking at it! There, that's how we need to hold it. Yeah, basically everything about this hurts to hold. But at least they didn't glue everything on this time. They actually stitched it. You can tell because they didn't use the same colored thread from them, so the stitched togetherness is obvious. I don't think there's a worse sitting cutie. Except maybe Badoo. Uh, but I suppose being the worst looking is fitting of the Pokemon. Tangrowth. Hmm. Interestingly, Josh and I have completely opposite opinions on this plush. Remember the Tangela one? How it was like actually a tangle of blue tubes? I really liked the idea, but not the execution. I think Tangrowth here looks way better as a plush. But Josh says the exact opposite. It's a letdown that they didn't even try. Old Tangela was so cool. It had depth. I guess that's the magic of opinion, huh? Electivire, okay. Not bad. Don't like the fingers though, and the tails are just okay. Thin and thin. But if you flip up the mustache thing, it looks like the funniest thing. And this is how it came in the mail too, so this was my first experience with it. Magmortar seems pink. Is it supposed to be pink? I think it's shiny as pink. It's supposed to be light red, which is pink by definition, so I guess it just doesn't look right. Uh, well, I appreciate the detached lips. Attention to detail, people. Togekiss. I'm honestly surprised it actually sits. Look, it's got little feetsies. That's what lets it sit. Very cute. Actually, I quite like this plush. It's very good for a mon I don't really care about. Simple, yet fluffy and huggable. Yon Mega. Love the little legs and the segmentation on the body with the stitching. The wings are perfectly floppy and its eyes are well printed. But it's not sitting. Can dragonflies even sit though? Overall, it's a great bug. A tier. I have once again been forgetting to actually rate these. Oh god, I thought Leafeon was supposed to be like soft, gentle leaves. This thing will cut you. Also, its front legs are too short to actually sit on the floor properly. I do like that it has a question mark forehead and its tail is really nice and soft and designed well though. Same goes for the ears. Glaceon. <laughs> Bangs. Well, at least its feet touch the floor. But it's a pretty generic plush. Like, I swear there's a dozen plushes of each evolution now. And they're all in, like, the same pose. Aha! Just as I thought! Its tail makes it quite annoying to get sitting. It's so out there and mega firm. Also wish the hands were not tied to the wings. But I do like its little collar poofy thingy. Throw it like a paper airplane. It'll sink like my hopes. It's so squishy, I'm gonna cry! It's doing the sploot thing with its legs, too. That's a real term. A sploot? Duh, it's so mad, but it's too cute to be mad. Also, you can make it eat like a spider with its tusks like mandibles. Yes, I was hugged plenty as a child. Porygon Z is not really sitting, but also it's fun because it looks like a zombie, like those Asian-style zombies, the ones that hop with their arms out. I'm now wondering if that was intentional with it. But hey, it even has spirally eyes and just needs a firewall seal on its forehead. Gallade does not sit because it's an action figure. Look at those poseable feet and arms. Just the one though, the other one is stitched up. Also, its face is really flat and sort of funny and lopsided. And oh boy, that booty is stuffed to the brim with bully beans. Just like real Gallades. Probopass! You know, I gotta say, that stash is really soft and a joy to pet. And the little orbiting noses are really quite charming. And while they aren't stitched on the best, like I feel like they're gonna fall off any second, uh, I don't really know any other way they could have done it. Dusk Noir. Ew. The fingers. It's like the thumb and pointer are also taller and bigger. It's weird. Oh, and did I mention that it has no butt so it can't sit? Hmm. Riddle me that, game freak. The cowl is fun, and overall it looks like it's a weird guy with a party hat. And oh boy, can it do push-ups. Crosslass, I do like how its hand is on its face for the sake of posing, but it is stitched there, so I'm a little bummed about less posing power. Also, its head is lumpy? 
but I like it. It's almost a finger puppet with how tubular and hollow the base is. Rotom! Ah uh, yes, I want to play with plushies of appliances. And a lawnmower, which really is a home appliance, just for the shed. Now don't get me wrong, I like most of these. The fridge, washer, and oven are really just fun cubes with lightning arms. And the fan one, well it can't sit up and it's the worst. But the lawnmower Rotom, it has a bucket in the back. I mean, look, it can give rides to so many other things, even other sitting cuties. Even Normie Rotom, who is very head heavy, yet sometimes we can get it to sit. I like the proportions on it, it's quite cute. Yuxi Mesprit and Azelf. I won't lie, I had to look up which one was which because dang do they all look the same except for Yuxi. I always manage to remember Yuxi at least. The blue one. As Elf is pretty okay. It sits and has a weird shaped face though, almost like it was squished at some point in the factory. It's really flat, even the orb in its head. Yuxi has a dumb page boy haircut like coconut head from that show, but blonde and in plush. And really this is just a problem with the original Pokemon, but I digress. It doesn't look much better as a plush. Mesprit is the best of the bunch, as it has really fun hair to wiggle about like a helicopter. Dialga. Okay, making horses sit is probably my favorite thing. I cannot wait for Arceus. I'm kind of disappointed by all of the sharp parts here though, but I guess how else would they do all this? It's steel, it's spiky, it has to be this way. Petting gods should always be uncomfortable. Its tail thing is also bent and really thin. Isn't it supposed to be a bit bulkier? And its head too is a leaner wiener and it looks almost sad. Maybe it's upset that its booty doesn't touch the floor. Or maybe it has hemorrhoids. Palkia is just kind of in its normal pose, but it fell backwards. And it looks super pissed about that. I mean, look at it from front on. This is the face of rage. And the shoulders are so poofy big, which is different from big poofy, trust me. Technical terms, you'll learn them eventually. The wings are floppier than I'd like. And what's this weird line here all about? Now, as a pair, I really like these. They look really good next to each other on a shelf. Just not in your hands. Heatran, oh man, here's a sentence I have never said before. Heatran looks great, cute. Look at that, he's so round, like a bean, a toad, a bulldog, a toad bulldog. I lobe him and the legs really stretch out so far they actually go up. It's basically just sitting on its front legs and belly. It's like some sort of yoga pose. Really, it's perfect for hugging, but just, just, just watch out for the toes. They're kind of hard and spiky, uncomfortable. But gosh, look at it. The glow up. Regigigas, with how top heavy it is, I'm kind of amazed it actually sits. It's probably the most densely stuffed of the Gen 4 cuties, but the little poofs? So squishable. With its arm placement, I just kind of want to hold hands in a circle when I see it. And this little dude is a cutie with two forms. You got Snakey with no leggy form, who does not sit, and Thick Bug. But both forms are well designed enough. They work well with Dialga and Palkia and are great to have on a shelf with them. Not so great to hold because leggy form has a lot of sharp bits. But eh. It's a bug, so that's okay. I do really like the wings on both of them though. Very fun to shake around. Cresselia, good luck getting this one to sit. It's like one of those water woodpecker desk toys. What are those things called? A drinking bird. Really? Okay, well it's a drinking bird that's holding its tatas to keep them from flopping about like it's flippy flap flap strap. Yeah, those were words. Fioni, F. It can't stand or sit. It's a proper useless baby. Well, I like the details in the eye, so there's that. Okay, so with Manaphy's stitched together floppy head bobbles, in the front, it stands. But with them on its back, it falls normally. Oh no, does that mean it's emo shy? Darkrai, thick butt. This is actually pretty big for a sitting cutie, especially compared to real Darkrai. I suppose doing this was the only way to get it to sit. And oh, you can't flip up the eye flap. I wanted to know what the other eye looked like. It's not even stitched, it's actually glued on. Terrible. It looks bad. They could have just elongated its hair shape to cover this eye, but but no. They did whatever you call this. It's like an emo Odin shaman. Okay. I love this weird hairdo fabric thing. Like it's so floppy and mostly detached. So you can like wiggle it around and feel the inside blush. It's so weird and it gets the point across really well. This is a hedge. Honestly, it's adorable and one of the best sitting cuties so far. Like, wow, I don't even super like Shaman, but like, this is so good. 
I just wish the flowers weren't sharp. If they had the same felt plush that a lot of the bird's tails are, it would have been perfect. And then there's sky form. It's just a flying type Eevee with a scarf. And uh, that, that's, that's what it is still here. Oh. M. God. Those booties. Not as in multiple butts, but like the actual boots. Like look at its little shoes on its legs. The pose is pretty okay too. I was hoping for more of a llama sitting pose. You know, that would have been a lot cooler. And unfortunately, due to the nature of sitting cuties sitting, the ring gets really bent out of shape with the tummy. Despite this though, it's pretty good and I quite like it. And apparently they think everyone will like it because they made it a pre-order bonus for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Or maybe they thought nobody would like it so they devised this scheme to help get rid of their garbage. Well, anyway, that was a very quick look at every Gen 4 sitting cutie and sitting ambipom. Overall, I feel like the quality is hit or miss. There seem to be a lot more little mistakes and misalignments this time around, and a lot more mon that just don't sit. And there's also ambipom? The heck? At the same time, however, they are a lot more detailed, and overall they feel a lot softer to me now. I don't know if it's actually a better material per se, but it definitely feels nicer except for Rhyperior. Which are your favorites? Let me know down below, and until next time, never stop using your noggin. Please support me on Patreon, this video was very expensive. <clears throat>